Hey guys, it's Adrian. I just wanted to pop in real quick to talk to you about paper. And the big question is, is coordinating paper really all that important? And I'm going to say yes it is. And here's why. This is the entire line of Stampin' Up! papers. All of their beautiful colors. I happen to have all of their inks that go with it. Now here's why I say it's important. We're going to look at Mary Molo for a second. So when you get your stamp pad, this is what you're going to get. It's beautiful. I just love the colors. You're going to want to open it up and you're going to want to start stamping with it. But when you look at just this, I don't think you get the full story. When you compare it with the paper, then you kind of really get to see what this color is and all that it can do. And then you can offset it and you can line things with it. And I'm going to give you an example of something. And I know my video is kind of going to be all over the place today, but it's really just struck me. This color right here is Flirty Flamingo. When I first got Flirty Flamingo, I got it in the old stampers. It, it was a um, Stampin' Up uh, color in color, and this is what I got. And I have to tell you something. I wasn't all that particular nuts about Flirty Flamingo. I just wasn't. I looked at this, and I'm like, eh, it's pink. Okay. And I even went as far as to... You know, stamp it on something. Uh, let's see if I can find my ink colors. My ink color charts. Because you know I don't have this all together. That would just make too much sense. Oh. Oh, well, I don't have it, but I kind of... Oh, here it is. Flirty Flamingo. So I took the time to even stamp it. And I was still like, eh, it's still kind of pink. So I didn't really use it that often. I really didn't. And then, when I became a Stampin' Up! Stamp demonstrator, I decided that I really kind of just had to have all the papers. So I already had a lot of papers. I didn't just buy these. I already had a lot of papers. But I got the new stamp pad from because it's current, and I'm still just like, eh, it's pink. But then I saw the paper, and I was like, oh, wait, that's really a pretty pink. Like, way prettier than I thought when I just kind of stamped it out. And when you take the time to get the paper, it kind of inspires. So here is, um, this is actually using a hostess set. Now I know that there is a ton of stuff going on right now about celebration. And I'll tell you that celebration is the time to stop Stampin' Up. But Stampin' Up doesn't just think of you once a year. They think of you all the time. And they have some wonderful hostess sets. And this is artfully folded. And it's one of the sets that I earned for free again this year. Um just simply by placing my order. As a matter of fact, I, I, I placed a big order, I'm not going to lie, but I had 10 stamp sets in that. And between Celebration and my hostess, I ended up getting eight of the 10 stamp sets free, as well as a punch. I was uh, super excited. But anyway, I haven't done the inside yet because I haven't decided how I'm going to use this card. It was kind of just an inspiration thing. But isn't that just beautiful? This is Daffodil Delight, second generation. And you'll notice when I did my colors, I did everything first generation, second generation, third generation. Because I like to have an idea of what I'm getting when I stamp off. And I do a lot of stamping off. So this is second generation Daffodil Delight. This is first and second generation Daffodil Delight. So it looks like it's two totally different colors, but it's not. And then Flirty Flamingo. And it is a beautiful card. So, the next question or the next situation that you run into is, uh, okay, Adrian, you're right. And I got 
some of the papers. I really love certain colors and I got some of the papers. The next thing you need to do is use them. Use them, use them, use them. We have some wonderful designer paper and this I got for free. It's not available, but what I wanted to show you is on the back, it will tell you all the colors that is in the designer paper. And if you buy during celebration, you can still get this free for a $50 purchase. But the colors that are in this pack are Call Me Clover, Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, Grapefruit Grove, Lemon Lime Twist, uh, Mango Melody, Pink Petal, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, Pumpkin Pie, and Whisper White. So it helps you to just know that the papers in here are going to coordinate with that, which means you can put them together. Look at how beautiful Poppy Parade goes with this paper. I could very easily mat a strip of this with a strip of this and just have something beautiful and just set up. Now here's the risk that you run into. You get all this beautiful paper and it is beautiful and if you're like me you're just going to love every color but then you got to use it because this is what happens if you don't. And this was completely my fault because I've actually had these papers for years, but I never opened the wrapper because I'm a paper hoarder. I'm going to admit it. I'm saying it out loud. I'm a paper hoarder. I find all these beautiful papers and I just have the hardest time cutting into them because they're beautiful and I love them and I, I'm working through it. But this is what ends up happening is I have all of these beautiful papers that are retired. Now the cool thing is, is unlike milk, they don't expire. They don't go bad. I can still use them. I can still make a card with them. Now you will not see these particular colors in a video because you can't get the paper. I will from time to time use a retired stamp set because a lot of people will already have that stamp set and I might encourage them or inspire them to use it in a brand new way. So I will use retired stamp sets in my videos, but I'm not going to use the retired color that you have no chance of getting. But you got to use them because this this is a 2016-19 color. I mean, I've had this for two years and I haven't I haven't used it. So this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, yes, you do want to get the colored papers that match your ink pad. It does matter. You can use it for card bases. You could use it for a multitude of things. Here I've used Night of Navy and I've used Smoky Slate and I just haven't set it out but you you want to do it because these cards are beautiful. You don't want everything to always be on white or to be on black but then you have to use it. Because you do not want to end up with a situation where you have a whole stack of beautiful paper that you haven't shared with people. And that's why we're doing this, isn't it? To share, to to spread kindness, to, to... That's why we do it, guys. We want to share what we love. We want to share what we do. We want to make these beautiful items and, and send them to people. So I'm working on my paper hoarding this year. Feel free to hold me accountable. Feel free to leave a comment on any video that I might ever post and say, Hey, Adrian, how are you doing with using up those papers? And then I'm going to encourage you that build slow. You can buy, they have sets. Let me show you in my book. So in the catalog, and this is the annual catalog, we've talked so much about the, the spring catalog, the holiday catalog, the celebration catalog, and I think sometimes we lose sight that the fact that we have an annual catalog. And you can buy the family groups of cardstock, and you would end up with 20 sheets. You would end up with two sheets of each of these colors, and it's only $8.50. So it's a very inexpensive way. And a lot of these is only two sheets. Like I only have two sheets of Poppy Parade because this is what I do. I buy the pack 
for 850 and then I end up with all the colors in the neutral I have all the colors in the brights all the colors in the regals all the colors in the subtles um, and I have all the the in colors and with the in colors I think you get four sheets Yep, you get still get 20 sheets, you get four of the five colors, and it's still only the 850. So this would be a very inexpensive way that you can kind of start building up your paper supply and then use it. That's the key word. Now, I do want to remind you that these right here, the 2017-19 um, colors, are about to leave us when this catalog expires, which I believe is sometime in May, uh, June 3rd of 2019. So come June 3rd, this isn't going to be available at all. And a lot of people already realize that, so they're already stocking up on their papers, their inks, their markers, the ink refills. Don't forget these things, because you can continue to use them. Just because I, I won't necessarily use them in a video doesn't mean you can't continue to use them. I have all of them. And then I did take the time to let's find my current ink colors. I think that one goes there. On some of these that were my favorite, like you guys know I love Tranquil Tide. Well, I've, I've stocked up on it. <laughs> I have about 10, 15 sheets of Tranquil Tide. I have accepted I'm going to have to say goodbye to it at some point that I won't be able to get the paper, but I stocked up on it while I can. So if you have a favorite, stock up on it while you can. All right, this has just been a really quick video. I just kind of wanted to encourage you that, you know, get the paper. It doesn't go bad, obviously. It doesn't go bad. Get the inks. You can continue to use them. Um, and let's, let's explore creativity. Look at all these beautiful colors. I didn't realize how beautiful balmy blue was until I saw the paper and I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. I have a new favorite color and then I have another new favorite color. Then I have another new favorite color. Guys, I have like 50 new favorite colors. <laughs> anyway. All right, I'm going to head out for now. I just wanted to kind of pop in and kind of give my two cents on my thoughts on paper. Yes, it's important. It gives you a much better idea of colors, gives you a much better idea of how to place things together. You know, you can do stuff like this. You can just kind of go through your papers and say, what, what do I like with this? Huh. Well, that goes better than I would have thought. Crushed Curry and Mossy Meadow. I'll have to keep that one in my mind. So having the paper selection is an awesome thing. It gives you a lot of versatility. All right, until next time, be blessed. Bless another. Everything we do, we should be paying it forward. Pull out your papers, get them organized. These are just very cheap. Um, this is how I'm storing it for no other reason than my original paper storage led to me having packs and packs and packs of unopened paper, which was not doing me any good. So now everything is organized. It's labeled. I know exactly what color I'm getting. It's easy to get to, and I can keep all the scraps in there as well. So that's an extra little tidbit. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.